Hey, we're Alex and Lars. Back in June last year, we made the decision to move our life onto a sailboat full time. A few months later, we bought a beautiful 37 foot sailboat called Morokoi in Barcelona. We've since renamed her Navica, which means sailor in Sanskrit, and she's a Tyna 37 from 1981. After a couple of months tying up loose ends on land, we flew down to Barcelona to bring her back to France, which is home for us, to do some works on her before setting off with the hopes of sailing longer term. We had a blissfully uneventful sail up from Spain with the help of a couple of friends. Neither of us wanted to go into a marina after the taste of being on the water, but there was a lot to do to make Navica cruising ready. Antibes was a natural choice since we've lived there before and it's a huge marina with a big yachting community, so it's a good place to get parts and do boat projects. I am doing the final little bits, just putting the hose away. Tidying up some lines. We, we have like the best spot on the quay really, like right on the end. We just have this amazing view and nobody next to us and it's really easy to get in and out. We got a bit lucky really. But. Little did we know we'd be spending quite a bit of time in the marina, regardless of whether we wanted to or not, due to COVID and the lockdown that was imposed in France. We made the most of it to get our heads down and do most of the critical jobs and even took on some projects we hadn't originally thought we'd have time for. With the extra time, we embarked on the massive task of renovating our teak decks, which were in a sorry state. This involved removing 800 old screws and teak plugs, sanding down to a fresh layer, replacing the screws and putting in new plugs, recutting all the grooves, caulking, and finally sanding it all down again. The whole project was exhausting. We did not appreciate how hard it would be when we first started. And once started, there was no going back. We are doing something kind of terrifying, which is taking a track saw to our decks, but it seems to work. So we've got this piece of ply here that's like a curved jig, and we've measured it, gone along and screwed it into the seam next to it. And we're going to regroove this seam here, just a little bit deep, deeper. I think you might need to speak up, Lars. Yeah. Don't worry, I still see We couldn't have even envisaged a project like this without the help and expertise of our friend and marina neighbour, Ed from SV Northern Shadow, who does this for a living. He showed us the steps and lent us all his professional tools. So there's lots of little little stuff like this that we need to clean out, get rid of all that caulking and then sand it down and vacuum it. Yeah. So I guess we hop to it. Okay. How long have we been at work? <laughs> These days are starting to blend into one. We're getting there though. Last week, I guess, or last two weeks of it. Yeah. I don't even know. Can't really go and live on Nanka. That's like, the thing. Basically, we're still confined until the 11th of May, definitely, and today's the 4th of May. Um, we don't know whether we'll be able to leave after that, and obviously, we're not going to be able to until we can do this because we still need the shore power for all of our tools and stuff. And also, none of the tools are ours. And we need to do it before it rains anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I'm hoping that. We push now to try and get it all sort of ready and cleared out, ready to prime. Then we have lunch, and then we prime. Okay. And then we caulk from about 5 till 10 p.m. 10? Yeah, I think it's gonna take a long time. We can do it. We'll get there. Won't we, little basil plant? <laughs> 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 so now we've now we've regrooved, we've caulked, and now this has to stay like this for seven days. And then the next step is going to be sand it all down, and hopefully have nice clean caulking lines. And then we're almost there. Then it's just the details. Biggest job of our lives, <laughs> easily. <laughs> Living in lockdown in the marina was overall pretty chilled out. We had access to outdoor space, were able to walk around the whole marina, which happens to be the biggest in the med, got to know other liverboards, and never really felt cooped up, except for on the rainy days when we basically couldn't leave the boat. Mm -hmm. 
Things got a bit silly sometimes after periods of no external contact, but many cakes were baked and we made good progress on getting the boat ready. That said, we were obviously excited about leaving the marina to start living on anchor and eventually setting sail. What just happened, Lars? What just happened was we finished the last part of a project that's been just killing me for weeks and weeks and weeks. And finally, we have a watertight hot water system that works. High five. Nice. It's Friday night and we got Senor Lars working hard. Senor Lars. Wiring the inverter to the electrical panel. Which is super exciting. It is pretty exciting actually, because then once we have that, we can completely disconnect from the shore power and uh, see what happens, see how autonomous we are with our solar panels. So take a look at this the, bad the boy. Mess. It's the brain, it's the brain of the boat. I thought you were the brain of the boat. Wow. <laughs> oh. Welcome. The shower room. Oh. <laughs> it has Look taken many it. years and much <laughs> effort to install this shower, and here it is. He looks so out of place. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these horrible little taps next to, to it. I need to take them out. That took uh, way more time than it needed to take. I just couldn't figure out what parts to get, and as usual, Ed came in clutch with the. Uh, the final bits. So head to the rescue again. Head to the rescue. I mean, I don't know what we owe him. We owe him a lot of things. I feel like some kind of. We should name our first child Ed or something. <laughs> <laughs> should we try? Yeah, okay. <gasps> it works. Ta da! Woohoo! Feels really strange. It's awesome though. It feels like isn't it shouldn't it? be. Shouldn't be happening. But... You don't think? Do you want to turn it off? Because it's getting well. water out here too. My feet are a little bit wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like overly excited at the moment. So in about one minute, you're going to hear all of Paul Vauban celebrating and thanking. Dum, dum, dum. It's pretty intense in a part. Wait You'll see it. why in just a second. <laughs> Sunday, so gonna get these decks sanded. Gotta go buy some stuff. And I always do this thing where I get my coffee and I start sitting down on my laptop and I just get stuck into stuff. And then and I was like, oh no, way, I haven't like done my yoga or meditated or anything. One of those so decks won't stand themselves. That's why I try to get up early. Alex just lays it around in bed. Hey, I was lazy. Actually, I lazed about around in bed for like half an hour. Yeah. It's crazy how you can just get lost. I really get lost on my phone. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's kind of me too. I'm like, oh, I'm just drinking my coffee, and all of a sudden, like, an hour goes by. Yeah. Oh, I want to drink mine first, anyway. Will it take you an hour? It will take me a while. I'll have a little bit of it now, and then I'll have the rest of it later. But what's our priority today, then? What are we trying to... What is our priority? Go to Grand Jury, send the deck. What else is there to do? Look at the list. Get mm. thingy working. I have to try and get a spark plug. Oh, yeah, and water tightness projects to them. What to do? Yeah, do that on anchor as well. Oh, we can get a lot of that done today. Maybe I'll finish sending this morning. What's going on, Naz? I messed up. <laughs> I blame the size of the bag I was given. Hey, I just did as I was told. No, I was trying to empty the vacuum cleaner and uh, yeah. there was way more in the vacuum cleaner than I could possibly imagine. But luckily we have a vacuum. It's kind of satisfying to watch, it's like magic. Check it out. Take a little look at what's been We're done. Final stages. Look at the difference. How exciting is this? It feels, I mean, you can't see this, but it feels amazing to walk on. And it makes the whole boat feel waterproof. I'm pretty proud of us. But it took us how long? Over a month. Really? A month. That long? Yeah. 
Nah. We started the when the confinement got extended because when confi when they announced that the confinement was going to last until the 11th of May, we said, "All right, you know, we're stuck here for a month, so we might as well just do it, go for it." And it was way more work than we both expected, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it paid off, or it's paying off. I think it's going to look good. We took a month to finish it all and were so happy with the result. A lockdown period well spent. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as lockdown is lifted and we make our escape from the marina just as prices double for high season. We prep the boat and start living on anchor full time in the uninhabited islands close by.